Donna. All right, guys. What we're we talking about today is we're talking about the removal of the exhaust on the Suzuki M109R Boulevard. All right, guys. To start out, you're going to have to take the seat off, of course. And you're going to need the tools you're going to need. You're going to need this, what's this, 530 second Allen wrench. Before you do that, once you take the seat off, you're going to come here and you're going to pull this little push pin out of here to get, <coughs> excuse me, get access to your uh, paneling. Pull that out. Then you're going to come down here. You're going to have uh, Allen bolt here, Allen bolt there, and another Allen bolt. It's going to be, I think it's going to be behind here. So, of course, you're going to have to take this out first. Like I said, once you pull that uh, pin, that uh, push pin out, you're going to start to pull. Wait, first, you're gonna, I think, but I leave it, I believe it's the first uh, Allen bolt. This one comes out first in order to take this off. Then you got to be careful because you have the push in of the paneling right there. And the other push in is plastic. And you know you can easily break that. And plus you got a connection right there. That connects on that little lip. It's also plastic. Then you're going to pull that off there like that. And then that's going to give you access to this uh, fairing right here. You're going to, of course, when I told you the other bolt was here. I already have it off. i just showing this, showing you this here. That point there, that point there, and that point there. And you can see I already painted that. But that's you're going to need to do that in order to be able to take off your exhaust. Now, another thing you're going to have to do is, as you can see, I still have the exhaust on here. You don't have to actually take the exhaust off if you're doing what I'm doing, which is painting all my um, heat shield. I'm painting the, all the heat shield exactly flat back. Excuse me, flat black. And of course, I'm using the paint, the high heat paint right here to make sure the paint is protected. And I'm painting all my uh, my valve covers and my air, air filter cleaner kit is painted. Because you, get, you, know, you know, I told you guys I don't like all that chrome on there. Anyway, here's the inside of the heat shield. So, like I was saying, if you just want to take the heat shield off and paint it, you don't have to take the, the, the entire uh, exhaust off. Because to take the exhaust off, all you have is that bolt right there. And it's going to be it's gonna be bigger than a, a 516th. Let me see. It's not that. <clears throat> It's a 732nd. It's what you use to take this off if you wanted to. But again, you don't have to do that if you're just painting the heat shield. But anyway, you got two points. You got one there. You got one on the other back end down there. You got one here. One on the other end. But again, in order to access all that, you're going to have to start taking the parts. Other things. Of course, you're going to take off your fairing, your two pieces of fairing there. You see, you kind of come back down here, and if you see how the um, the brake clutch assembly is pressed up against it. So you're going to take the bolt here and the other bolt right here, that bolt and that bolt, loosen those bolts up to get to, to be able to push this out of the way. So you could pull this out because this is blocking this pipe the uh, exhaust from coming out completely. But then again, that's if you're trying to take the exhaust off completely. But again, you don't need to do that if you're just trying to do what I'm doing and paint the heat shields. And as you can see, the heat shields, they are held on by these clamps. Right? So you got one, two, three, four, five points of contact. And if you notice the end of it, it's it's uh it's closed in, so that means 
you're gonna have to slide it on from that way and then press it up against and push it on there and in order to do that you, to get it off you're gonna have to lube with the heat shield on you got to lube the inside of the uh, exhaust on both ends in order to get that slide off of there again if you look how that's closed in and the rest of it is open right so again you're gonna be sliding it on from the rear up just to get that tail end on there and press the rest of, of it against there and the uh, top and bottom is the same right now if you look right here there are some clamps here that you don't need to bother is that one there and that one there and those clamps are just because this exhaust is two pieces this is a short piece and this is the extension so those clamps are there just to connect these two pipes exhaust pipes together but again you don't need to do that you don't need to take the exact the exhaust off to just to take the heat shield off. It's held on by these clamps. And as you can see, take your uh, uh, Phillips head screwdriver, or I believe it was 10 millimeter. Let me see what is this. Yeah, I believe it was. It's a might be an eight. I'm not sure. I think it was an 8 millimeter. Those are 8 millimeter bolts. So you can either use a Phillips head or 8 millimeter bolt to take those off. Right? And you want to use some penetrating oil to loosen them up because it's been on there while, as you can see, they're rusty. And again, get trying to get this one off, I broke it. As you can see it right there, like that. So I'm going to have to get this welded back on there for that uh, connection to be made. Because if you look down in there, they're not exactly welded soft all the way from all the way through. It's a pretty cheap, it's a cheap weld. But anyway, there are five points of contact. Right? And that's what you got to do in order to take the exhaust off. So when I'm, like I said, I'm painting... And also, if you want to take off the valve covers, they're just simply just, they're just pushed in there, right? If you look on the back end of it, see those points right there? One, two, three. You just, you can just pull those out with your hand. You know, gently grab it with two hands on both ends and just pull it out. Now, the these in the front, they're a little bit more complicated right so i gotta actually take off the uh crash bar in order to get access to this one right here do you see how loose it is but it's still stuck in there because of the crash bar here is still holding it in i mean i probably could wiggle it out of but i probably end up scratching it up so when and if you look in there it's a it's a it's a hex bolt also so that means i'm gonna have to take this front fairing here probably off the access to that that uh, hex bolt you better take this crash bar off but I can get it I can take the one crash bar off at the bottom here with this bolt take that bolt out that'll loosen up the bottom portion of the crash bar okay and again on the other side it's the same way it's got a crash bar it's pressed up against there. If I want to get this one out. But anyway, guys, it's not, it's not that hard to do. A real quick a video on how to take the exhaust off or the heat shield for the exhaust. It's done.